Well, I don't suppose you've heard of a guy named Glenn Beck, have you? Um, <laughs> seems like everybody, good or bad, is, is on one side of the Glenn Beck issue. Either they love him or they hate him. And uh, I, I've encountered a lot of people who are really into Glenn Beck and really, uh, really appreciate his particular perspective on politics, on the nation and all of that. And, and I've watched a little bit and all, but what's really sort of intrigued me, especially coming from believers, is that um, there's been a lot of kind of hope put in him as it relates to the gospel, as it relates to God reaching people with the gospel. And uh, apparently Glenn Beck has been sharing uh, the gospel or a gospel um, on his program, been talking about God a lot. So um, it's caused me to think through some issues. And uh, I went ahead and, and I got a video, uh, actually a brother gave me a video of Glenn Beck sharing his testimony, his personal story of coming to faith. And uh, so I watched that video and, um, and Glenn Beck is a died in the womb member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Make, make no mistake about that. He is a very committed member of that particular faith. And, uh, and so what you need to know is that that faith is very different than the, the Bible faith, the faith once for all delivered to the saints. And so all that to say this, for, for believers who are putting a lot of stock in Glenn Beck to reach the world with the gospel, listen, please don't make the mistake of, of putting your hope in, in a, uh, a talking head. And, and by the way, I think he's a really talented guy. <laughs> you know, I've watched the show, it's very entertaining. But um, our kingdom, Christian, is a different kingdom. Jesus said, my kingdom is not of this world. If it were, my servants would fight. The kingdom of God is established within individuals. And then that kingdom is spread from individuals to other individuals as we love and serve and walk humbly before God. That's how the kingdom is spread. And so um, our hope is not in, in politics. Our hope is not in this earth. Our hope is walking with Jesus Christ and seeing his kingdom spread on the earth. So anyway, my purpose is not to offend. Um, I know, um, you know, some of you will be disappointed, but you know, that's part of my job, you know, disappoint a few of you. So um, our hope is in Jesus. When he comes, he's gonna establish his kingdom on the earth as it is in heaven, and of the increase of his government, there'll be no end. And so that's, that's our political stand right there. That's where I land. 